Hello there, everybody, and well... Wait a second. That's better. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, back with a dodgy retro episode. First time in a while we've featured a non-football manager game on the channel. And it's another part of our first look playthrough series. Today the game we're looking at is Prim. The demo has just been released by the developer exclusively to newsletter subscribers, of which I obviously am one, but it will be available on Steam shortly at the beginning of February. There will be a link down to the Steam page so you can follow it and get the demo when it's available there if you're not a newsletter subscriber. So I'm just going to play through a blind playthrough. I've literally just downloaded and installing this. You can also see over there that they've got a Kickstarter campaign on the way next month as well. So if you like the look of today's game, do keep an eye out for it. But without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Dear Diary, they say friends are the family we choose which by implication means our family is the family we don't choose. If you're wondering why I'm stating something that obvious, wait until you meet my father. <laughs> Terrible handwriting. That's him. He is death. And I don't mean that like in he's dead serious or he bores me to death. No, he literally is death. Ruler over the underworld, reaping the souls of the living after they pass away. Well, that alone wouldn't be much of a problem. I mean, other children have cruel parents as well. Parents who are tax officers, lawyers, or even teachers. My problem is, for days, I've been dreaming of this human boy crying out for me. I don't know him, but I have the strong feeling that I have to come and help him. However, father would never, ever allow me to travel to the land of the living because he's practically afraid of everything I want to do. I'm not to play basketball since I might get a splinter in my finger. I must not go into the forbidden forest because, quote, an unimaginable evil lives there, unquote. And the land of the living, you might guess it, is a no-go as well. Okay, interesting little intro there. Don't get me wrong. I usually do what father tells me, but not this time. This time, I'm going to find a way to escape. The catch? We've just had a big fight. And eventually, father grounded me and locked me up inside my room. So I have to find a way to get out of here first. Maybe I should start searching by examining the strange box by the window that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. Good as place as any to start, I suppose. So, yeah, nice little intro. Very much like the visual style so far. Um, black and white is a nice aesthetic. Uh, let's have a look. So, click left to interact, click right to look at. Okay, inventory. And hopefully, that's all we're going to need. Point and click. Okay, so we've got various things that we can look at. I bet if we press the space bar, do we get them all highlighted? No? Okay. Well, let's start with the mysterious box, as we were directed to do. A box? How in Hades' name did this get here? Well, you should know. What kind of beastie are you? I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Seems like a shy little fellow. Just wait. I'm going to get you. So, how do we get him? I can't reach it. First puzzle. Then, how do we reach this? I'm told, uh, according to the write-up from the developer, we've got about half an hour to an hour of gameplay here. I have no idea what to look up. Okay, so in line with the other first looks, we're, we'll play through about 25, 30 Just minutes to see how far we get. Beautiful glowing lights inside the jar. Father gave them to me as a death day present. He says they're called hotspots, whatever that means. There okay. is some sticky sweet mucus at the bottom. Probably it has been used to attract the fireflies. Maybe it will attract our little spidey eye friend. But let's have a look around. I'm sure alone that's not going to be enough. Let's see what else we've got. We've got a ladder. Oh, it won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. Hmm, so we need something? 
to grease it up. I gave up using blankets to play ghosts years ago. The real dead are so easily offended. I don't know. But the underworld problems. Hmm. What now? Okay, we might need something to... I still can't reach it. Something to snag it with. Skeleton arm. That might work. That might come in... Handy. Ah, nice one. If you hadn't said it, I was going to. Ugh. Seems like Father brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. Very oily. Very oily. Thanks for the clue. <sighs> Father says, in contrast to common belief, only Vampire X can keep vampires away. Whereas garlic only drives off the people you love. On the tag, it says, warning, may irritate the eyes. That's probably a handy clue for later. Right. Okay, let's get that inventory out. Now, ectoplasm was kind of oily, wasn't it? So let's apply some to the lad wheels. Get those wheels in motion. That do the trick. Okay, let's give this another try. Whoa, oh. that ectoplasm is one hell of a lube. Indeed. Right, let's climb the ladder then, see what we get. Uh, oh, I thought there might be some object for us up here, but... I guess not. Right. Uh, I think we're best off with the armchair and the skeleton arm for now. Let's see if that works. She just got off the chair. That wasn't what I wanted you to do. The arm reaches up to the thread, but I'll need something sharper to cut it. That doesn't make sense. Can we combine those? Great idea. The skeleton arm serves as an yes. extension for the scythe. Now, I just need something to use my new invention with. Good idea, but the little guy escapes to the ceiling as soon as I get close. If I could only distract him somehow. Right then, is this where we are going to use uh, this bottling jar? Uh, oh, oh. Hmm. I'd love to free the glowing thingies, but I can't get the lid off. My palms are too sweaty. I'd go and ask Father, but it probably isn't the best time now. Use the blanket to open it. Let's Get see some if grip. I can open it with the blanket. Oh, <laughs> it worked! Fly, little hot spots. Your time in captivity is over. Well, good for them. Oh, they don't leave. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. <laughs> Okay. Okay, there you go. Nice one. I actually like that. You have to <laughs> you have to unlock, literally unlock the jar to unlock the hot spots. There we go. So is there anything we've missed? The table itself. I really can't move it. Father would literally kill me if I scratched the floor. Sounds like a lovely fella. Right, I think we have actually. Ah, there's one thing we didn't see. Well, we didn't. We haven't tried to go out yet. There's a crack down here. It's much too small for me. Okay, I was just about to say, for what? Right, let's see. Then if we can 
place this bottling jar. I didn't mean to click on the blanket. That doesn't make sense. You're right. It doesn't. Can I just put it on the floor? I won't be able to lure it to come down with this. It doesn't seem to be interested in sticky sweet slime. Right. I think it might be time to venture outside. That doesn't make sense. I didn't think it would. I still thought I'd try. We've been grounded though, haven't we? So. Father locked it from outside. Darn it. So, I need to use that vampire X somewhere where I can't be seen, so maybe. Hide him behind the chair. I don't want to do this. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, we sprayed it. Okay, now. How do we use this? Nope. Fell on the floor. Now what? Do we catch it with the jar? I hope so. Stay here. Okay, we're on to the hey. next stage of the puzzle. Hey. Then. Where are you going? <sighs> and it's gone again. No, it doesn't. It's like literally there on the bookshelf. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Yeah, I think it's making fun of the both of us. <laughs> Every time I try to grab it, it flees to another position inside the shelf. Maybe okay. I can set a trap? Yes. So... That doesn't make sense. Okay, but this might. Maybe if I place this in here... My spidery friend will get stuck in the sweet mucus at the bottom. I love it when a plan comes to mind, as they used to say. All right, let's see you try and escape <laughs> now. Yes! Ha. Gotcha. Better get up there quick before it figures its way out. Let's put the lid back. Good call. Gotcha. <laughs> I won! <laughs> Aw, don't cry. Let me suggest something. If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Alright, let's have a look. Spider eye. That doesn't make sense. Right, yeah right, it doesn't. All right, let's see. Maybe we can use a spider eye through the crack. She mentioned about get, not being able to get the keys out. Maybe the spider eye can see through. Worth a try. That's my logic. Okay, Maybe not. little friend. I have Got a it. mission for you. Can you squeeze through that crack into my father's study and get me the keys to my door? Oh, good. <laughs> You're so cute. Good luck. I hey, should cute keep an eye, eye on this eye. Ah, hi, hi, hi. I like those puns. Smooth jazz. Is that what we listen to in the underworld these Oh, am I controlling... Am I controlling the spider eye? Interesting. Right, so what have we got here to look at? We can go back through the crack. We've got the door. We've got the radio. Stair rail. Strange herbs. And go all the way up the stairs. Right, an ugly gargoyle. And Thanatos. Not to be confused with Thanos. Right, strange herbs. We've got those in our inventory. But we're looking for keys. Lots of candles here. Uh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> Can you do anything with the radio? Oh. 
That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. Looks like we can climb up there. I didn't notice that hot spot before. Ah, gotcha. Up we go. Now what? Hey! Where are you going? Don't forget, you should bring me the keys to my room. Don't leave me hanging. Slide down the stair rail. Ah! Knocked over the gargoyle and... What just happened? <laughs> okay, now we can mess with the radio. And Thanatos will get up. Or get groovy. Yep, we've broken Quick, it. Get away. Okay, so off he comes to fix it. Ah, can we grab his pipe? That's lit up. I think I've got something we could put in there. You can't drug my father. I mean, Why not? we don't even know what kind of plant that is. It could turn him into some kind of ugly skeleton monster. <laughs> no, seriously. Let's find out what these plants are before we do anything stupid. She has a book. Okay, good. The eye knows. Yes, now we're going to have to go back and break the radio again. All that hard work for nothing. Right, I assume we found out what they are. Oops. Okay, hide. Okay, hopefully we know what these are now. Wait! You, I mean... Okay, okay, let's skip through that. So how do we do that? Okay, that was a little bit weird, because we, we came back through the crack, and then we went back out, and then we got to send Thanks, ourselves back friend. in. So... How do I find out what kind of plant you are? I think it would have made much more sense if we just cut to this bit the first time our little insect had popped back into the crack. Anyway. Ooh, let's see if I can find my two planty friends in here. A magical identification key. Well, that's what I call a coincidence. So what have we got? We'll start with the black one. So it's black, isn't it? It's kind of turnip shaped. Uh, so black. Ha, ah, okay, good. Tubular, it tells us over here. Jagged stem. Oh, this is it. This looks exactly nice. like the plant from Father's study. Acheron Swamp Trumpet. Famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music and therefore used as a party drug by the river spirits. <laughs> That sounds interesting. All right, let's look at the other one. That was jagged. This is... And here goes Great the stem with second thorns. one. Yes. White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest. Known for its narcotic effect, which is unfortunately so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. <sighs> perfect. Does she mean that this is going to be perfect for the job? Or is she just being sarcastic? Right, anyway. It's much too small. For me? Yeah, okay. We'll send your Spidey back in. So which one? Is he tired? That's the thing, we don't know. Do we want to send him into a trance? 
I think we want him to sleep, don't we? We want him to doze off. So that's what I'll try to do. White Widow it is. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Okay. Done. Good thing he didn't spot us. I was worried. Oh, if it seems you know like what I mean. Father enjoys the music too much to be calmed down by the herb. So we need some softer music. Do I have to break it again? So I guess we've got the option. Dance music, we can use the black herb. And the mellow jazz music, the white herb. To make him drop off. You've got choices, don't people. don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. I'd rather try and take the keys while he's asleep. Than while he's in some crazed out dance trance. Who knows what would happen then. Huh. This didn't do anything. I wonder why that is. Should put more in. We try again. Let's go with the black herb this time and the funky dance music. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Last time he said it didn't work. Right. What's going to happen here? Okay, we've got the disco ball. Party time. Right, I think I've got it. We're gonna tire him out by dancing and partying hard. Then we put on the mellow jazz music, we give him the white herb, and he falls asleep. That was unexpected. Right, now we've cracked it. It's only in a point-and-click game where you could end up breaking a radio six times in succession. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Yes, he said that already. He's tired. Sweet dreams. He's chilled. He's listening to the jazz. <laughs> Hasn't realized he's been smoking all kinds of crap this evening. Now we get the keys. Okay, nice. Off we scuttle. And on to the next stage. Finally, the key to my door. Let's get out yes. of here. Right, so we've got the keys. And uh, let's use them on the door. That's the obvious thing to do. What okay. are you doing? <laughs> oh, whoa. Just great. That was not expect expected. Whoa. 
feels weird. Wait, what's I bet happening? it does. Everything around me seems to be dissolving. I think I don't feel so good. Oh, hello. Hi. My name is Jonas. I'm from Germany and I make adventure games. Okay, let's give this another try. At the moment, I'm working on Prim, a drop dead charming, creepy but cute point and click adventure game. Whoa. Too long for you? No problem. Let me put it this way Imagine Monkey Island. But Tim Burton made the art, and Terry Pratchett wrote the story, inspired by Greek mythology. That's basically what it feels like to play Prim. Oh, and it's in black and white. Hey, that's my trick. All right, confession time. You may not have noticed through the magic of my smooth editing, but I did actually end the episode after we found the key. And I did a big wrap-up speech and said we're going to continue with part two. And then part two turned out to just be the eyeball thing. Um, then there was the uh, Kickstarter video, kind of a full preview of what will be the Kickstarter launch video. I've, I've kind of trimmed that down so um, you'll be able to check that out. Links are down uh, in the description to the you know, where you can find information about Prim, where you can get the information on Steam on their own website and the Kickstarter details as well. Personally, I enjoyed it. I liked the art style. I thought the music, the atmosphere, the voice acting was all pretty good. The puzzles were good. There is, you know, a couple of them required a bit of trial and error, but nothing that made me bang my head against the wall in frustration. So looking forward to the full game. It said in the video they're aiming for around six to eight hours of gameplay, which sounds ideal. If you do enjoy this kind of game and you want to see more of this content on the channel, hit that like button. And if you like the look of Prim, leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think. And for now, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. There are plans for more of this kind of content coming to the channel soon to break up the Football Manager stuff a bit. But for now, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. And um, my eyeball feels itchy for some reason.